Hi my loves, my name is Malik Davis and I would like to thank everyone for visiting 40 Pieces of Me. Today is going to be a continuation of our uh, dorm decor design on a dime. What we are doing, I told you that I had some great things that were coming in uh, from banggood.com. Well, banggood.com, they sent me a lot of wonderful mirror items. Um, I was able to pick out some items. So this is a DIY wall clock. I've actually looked at these clocks that you just actually place the clock on your wall. Uh, I've looked at them for a long time. So this is an indication of how the actual numbers look. And I've always thought they were so funky and just modern and just like fresh to death let's just be honest um so when i had the opportunity to do that of course i jumped on it i chose the gold mirror so what i'm going to do is incorporate this in my um dorm decor design on a dime so we're gonna do a wall clock but we're not going to place it on the wall for reasons being she's in a dorm you won't be able to take it with you this is something you want to be able to keep and you just don't know how it's going to stick again on the wall so we're going to make it sweet and simple what you'll need for this is the actual diy wall kit i'll put banggood.com i'll put their um web address up and you can go online and order this. It's very, very inexpensive. Probably it was like $6 at the most. Uh, so it gives you everything that you'll need. I went ahead and did something extra because we're doing like the black, white, and gold with a hint of pink. The actual, some of the mechanisms for it, um, which was the second minute and hour hand, I went ahead and I painted them because I don't want to put any other color on this. So I did the actual second hand. I sprayed it gold. Minute hand, uh, hour hand, I did it in pink with a little glitter. And then I did the white with the glitter. So I've already spray painted those. I put a sealant over it so it could actually dry. These are the numbers and the actual uh, clock base. What we'll also be using as well, potentially gold glitter. I'm not sure. I just have to see how I'm feeling it. And this is the base of the clock. Uh, well, the, the mechanism, the major mechanism for it of the clock. And we have these stickers that I've recently found in Dollar Tree. And they're just some stickers expression, expressing a lot of happy stuff. So they're going to be part of our clock. And our instructions, you're going to need a 18 by 24 um, inch canvas. This is a black chalk canvas. And I've already uh, put a hole in the canvas. And I did so with a little, the little exacto knife. And I just basically just went in from the back. And I almost put another hole in it. Went in from the back. And just a small hole it went through very very easily let me flip this over so of course you see that it has the actual you'll need one double a battery if you decide to get this it has the actual um hole in the back for the support so it went in that just that easy so we already have that portion done you're going to need your glue gun and a glue stick as well. The reason why I say that, I'm not too sure how these numbers will stick on this. So we want to make sure that we take care of that. So the first thing that we are going to do is remove the clear film uh, from this. Some may want to wear gloves uh, so that you're not faced with having to do a lot. And you're going to put that on there. And what did I do with the screw? Okay. And remember, this is my first time, so don't think it's going to be too hard. It's something that you're not going to get because this is my first time doing it as well. Um, so you are not alone.
Now it's going to stick up a little bit because remember you have that board. You have that board there. It's going to stick up a little bit. I would say no need to put the glue on it. And this is going to, so it's not completely centered, but that's okay because we're not matchy-matchy. At least I'm not. Um, it's going to be a little, may feel like it's a little off-center, but that's okay because we're going to add some, some fun to it. So the first hand that we are going to put on, and I'm reading the instructions. I've already read over them once, but I'm reading over them again. You're going to remove the screw and the nut from the movement. That's what that base part was called, the movement. You're going to plug uh, the movement to the clock face hole. Then you're going to screw the nuts uh, to the axis again. Once you do that, you're going to peel off the protective film from the clock face. And you are going to install your hour hand and second hand into the axis one by one. So, we are going to see how this works because this is brand new for us. And be careful with these because they appear that they can... That they'll be easy to bend. And I'm just basically going through with this and just cleaning out that hole so I won't have an issue. Because we know I'm always doing something extra. Um, so you'll see a couple of other videos before you see this. I just uploaded them, but I haven't released them as of yet. Um, so we're going to do this. And this is supposed to just screw onto here. So we're going to see how this works. Um, and it is quite actually simple. Only somebody like me would make it not simple. So she is going to have a very cute little dorm room. And everything is hand done. So I think that's going to make it even better. Because she's not going to. So I need to find out. Something is not right. Because I am doubt it very seriously. If this is supposed to stick up. What I'm going to do is take a minute. Try to figure out what I'm doing wrong. And then I'll come right back. So I actually thought I was doing it incorrect. But it's not incorrect. It's just that. It's really, really simple. It's almost so simple that you think that you're messing it up. Um, so that's basically how that's going. Um, you just keep turning it. And I even picked it up to hold this portion. But no, it's just that simple. It is not, even if you decide to do it on this or you're doing it on the wall, it's really a very simple process. Now, how these are supposed to turn, I'm just going to be honest with you and tell you, I don't know. I'll have to see if this really works. How about that? But just keep turning this to basically, you can't turn it anymore. And you can hear the mechanism in it when while I'm turning it. So this is our most complicated part. Be careful because this is very, very delicate. So it is tightening and just keep turning it. So I can tighten that up some more later. I just thought these were supposed to just stay up, but I forgot I have them on a board. So they may not stay just leaning. They, they have a little lean to them. So that's one thing about having that black 
having that uh, bar behind it. But be extra careful with that. So, oh, and it is working. Look, it's actually working. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to to make sure that this doesn't go touch those. So we'll I don't know whether those others are gonna work, but this makes me encourages me to keep turning a little bit more. Oh, this is cute, but maybe I need to take the battery out so. Okay, so I'm going to turn it that way because we have to be able to get, get to the battery. So that's why I just sw switched the bar around. Okay, so I took the battery out and now we're just going to get down to the fun part. Um, don't say anything, y'all know I'm clumsy. So we did that portion. Oh, so this is really, this potentially may work. So I'm just going to use this as a guide. I know that I'm going to have my 12 at the top. Uh, like I stated, you may want to, I'm going to put all of these things down first. Um, and then, don't know whether I'll need any hot glue. But I think I'm going to put a little on there just to give myself a comfort zone. So, if it's your first time with us and I seem like I'm all over the place, most of the time I am. Um, this is a very non-traditional uh, YouTube channel. We're family here and we don't pretend. Sometimes I may not have it all together. Sometimes I may. But we just roll with whatever is going on. I'll go back and clean everything afterwards. So that is our 12. This clock is cute. Maybe if they agree to send something else, I can get some more clock stuff and we can do a clock series and just see how many different ways we can come up with doing clocks. Because already I am liking this. I hope she likes it. Because if she doesn't like it, hmm. This might be a good bathroom project. Hopefully she'll like it. Because if not, I want it back. No, it's not gonna be super duper straight, because that's the quirkiness in me. That it's gonna I'm gonna do my own thing with it. So, before anybody says, oh, it's not straight. No, it's probably not. So, I already see what I'm going to do to keep that up since it's not flat. Yeah, but it's going to work for us. So, I hope already you guys can see the potential and what you can do. Uh, for this like I said the company is banggood.com and um, Very very sweet lady that I've been dealing with she is She she sees something in me that maybe I don't even see because she is absolutely uh, Wonderful and she loves when I do mirror projects um, She even told me that that's my strong point point. Um, See, look at me how I did that. You see how I put that down wrong? But we're going to do it like that because we don't want to mess it up. So we're going to do it like that. We're going to make everything look like it's supposed to be. I told y'all I'll mess something up. Leave it to me and I will mess it up. So we're going to do something a little bit different.
Nobody will never ever know that we actually messed that up. So the seven is nice because the seven is larger than everything else. Y'all, this clock has me wanting to go to um school, be somebody's kid and go to school because I think this is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, this is this is real cute. So I hope y'all have something special planned this weekend. I went, um, told y'all I was going to try to do uh, some of the Black Theater Festival events. So last night I went out with one of my um, friend girls. And she doesn't go out. She's the one that is, she's a baker. And we went out to see a go-go band last night. Um, a little bit off from the downtown festivities. But can I tell you, I had the absolute best time that I have had in a long time. This go-go band, they were called Just Once. They're out of Raleigh, North Carolina. Well, let me tell you, baby, they were good. So every now and then, no matter how much you, you know, you, you, you doing, I know sometimes we're walking on a walk. Sometimes it's good good to just get out and have some good, clean fun. And that's what I did. I dance, and I normally don't dance when I go out. But I dance, and my knees are feeling it this morning. My knees are truly feeling it this morning. So you can go back and clean up some of that. If you're having some issues. So um, ours is probably not going to look like how they have them on the wall. But it's okay. It's your clock. Remember if you decide to do one in your house. Unless you're going to sell them. Um, but it's okay. As long as you like it. That's all that matters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and finish putting these on. And then we're going to see what type of decor that we can actually come up with. Now we have completed this portion. Um, we have the numbers in place. Um, these stickers that, I use, that I'm going to use, I'm not going to use a lot of them. I just want it to be something that just has some type of positivity uh, in regards to it. So I put love down here. You remember uh, by now you've already watched the video with the abstract art and I put love on it. She had on the signature love dress. So we put love on it and I'm thinking that I'm going to, um, because I don't want to spend a lot of time putting letters on here because you know, I got real life. I'm going to have real life happening today and I'm going to get involved in something. Not sure what it's going to be, but I still need to do some housework. And um, I have a couple of things that I'm finishing up. Small accent pieces that you'll actually see on the video. So I don't have all day to sit and put stickers on anything. And these stickers, you want to get these when you see them at Dollar Tree. As a matter of fact, while you're out today, go get some. Because you're thinking now, I'm not going to use those for anything but they're like a heavy sticker. So they're not like a flimsy lightweight sticker. And they really can come in handy for something uh, later on. So I would encourage you guys to run out and grab these. And I'm just going to put this at the top. And I'm going to spray a the sealant on it. Trying to spray not on the letters. And we're going to do a dusting of... And we're just going to throw celebrate because we should always be celebrating life. Um, we're going to throw that celebrate up in the corner. So that's, 
that's our decor i did it on this side because we had the big numbers on this side so i wanted to do something to give it equal amount of attention on this side so that's why i did it on this side so i'm gonna spray acrylic and uh we're gonna sprinkle give it a little dusting of glitter and then we're gonna see what we can come up with okay love bugs so as you can see this is the end result of our diy wall clock I think it turned out really, really good. I'm going to get close up so you can actually see uh, the hands. Sometimes pictures don't do things justice. Uh, I'll have a better camera because I'm going to snatch somebody else's when I go to set up the room tomorrow because I'm going to ride down uh, with them to Durham, North Carolina. And we are going to set up her dorm room. So, this is a very, very, I cannot stress how very inexpensive this project was. I think the clock from Banggood, it may run about $6, maybe a little bit more, but I will tell you it's very well worth it. Um, the black chalkboard canvas, we got it at 50% off. So we spent maybe like $7 for two canvases and threw in a little glitter. And what I did was I actually painted in blotches with that paint that had the glitter accents. And some of it I did um, more in blotches actually because of the fact of the lighting that I'm going to try to use in the room to make everything reflect off of it. Uh, so once again, banggood.com is a very, very uh, inexpensive way to do some nice decor uh, to your house. As you can see, the clock actually works. And I was very surprised. I didn't think I knew what I was doing. So um, definitely just follow the instructions. This is a... Um, project that I would give a thumbs up in regards to buying the clock from Banggood. So I hope you guys like this particular project. If you did, please leave a comment. Definitely hit the like button. And if you are new to 40 Pieces of Me, please, please, please hit the subscribe button. And definitely make sure that you ring the bell so that you will know what's going on at 40 Pieces of Me. Malik Davis, thanks for stopping by 40 Pieces of Me. I love you guys to pieces, all 40 pieces. I'm out.